Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to bring a sketch to life using Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. One of my favorite features of Doodly is its ability to mimic a sketch being drawn. Whether you're an artist or not, which I am not, this is a great way to create unique content for your audience. There are a few different approaches that you can take as far as doing this. Today, I'm going to pretend that I'm an illustrator and that I want to use my own sketches in Doodly. You'll see I'm using this image as inspiration. I got it from one of the royalty-free sites, freepick.com, and I'm going to draw it on my own on a tablet. Um, I'm just using it as, okay, I'm going to draw clouds and a river and a marshland and a boat, okay? So I'm not even actually using this image in my video, but I'm drawing it because remember, I'm pretending I'm an illustrator drawing my own and I'm not, I don't have those skills. So bear with me, okay? You will see that I already did my drawings. So I have them in different layers. So what I recommend if you are an illustrator is to take snapshots as you go. Um, if you're doing it on a tablet, you can export your different layers, you know, one at a time. Or if you're drawing on paper, then take a photo as you go and you're gonna stack your images one on top of the other. So here are mine. So this is my first layer. My second layer, I added the clouds. My third layer, I added, you know, some shading. <laughs> and then finally, I added the cattails and the rowboat. So don't laugh. I mean, you can laugh. Go ahead. I, like I say, I don't have the artistic talent as far as actual drawings go. And then I have a little signature logo that maybe I can add if I'd like. So how do we do this in Doodly? You know, once you have your layers created, you're going to bring them in. So let's go ahead and start with a brand new scene here. So I'm gonna go to props and I'm gonna click the little blue and white plus sign and I'm gonna browse for my files or drag them in. And here they are. You'll notice they're, they're named layer one, layer one A, two, three, and then my logo. Let's go ahead and bring them all in at least the images. Now don't resize them yet. Don't do anything. Just click on one of them and click the little gear icon and write down this, this number here, the X and Y. So X is 324 and Y is 89. You can close that. So now click another one. Click the gear icon and do the same thing. 324 and 89. All we're doing is stacking them. So let's click another. This doesn't need to be our final destination, but I do want them stacked. Okay, so now they're stacked perfectly and this will be helpful when we play our video. Now, I do want to point out if you're using paper and you're taking a series of photos, they may not line up perfectly just based on, you know, the positioning of your camera and everything. So you're going to have to do it the old fashioned way of lining them up. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. So let's just take one. And, you know, this is kind of hard to eyeball, right? Well, what you can do is go to the gear icon and turn its opacity down to, let's just try 10%. And you can see the graphics underneath and then you can line it up like so, the old fashioned way. That looks pretty good. Let's just see. We're off by two pixels. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my opacity back up to 100. I just wanted to show you that. Okay, so now that they're stacked perfectly, we can select them all. I'm going to do Command or Control A to select them all at once. And we can resize them all together, okay? That should be just fine. Now that we have the size, 
Since this is vertical, I might want to change my canvas size, but for now I'm going to keep it. I went ahead and deleted that initial scene so that we can preview this. And keep in mind, these are our default settings. So he scribbles this on, he erases it. He scribbles the next one, he erases it. He scribbles the next one, he erases it. And then he scribbles the last one and he erases it. Well, that doesn't look quite right now, does it? So the first thing we want to do is go down here to settings. Turn off the smart mode erase mode, okay? We don't want him erasing anything right now. Now, if we take a look at it, he scribbles it on, and then he scribbles on the next section, and then he's gonna scribble on the little shading, and then he's gonna scribble on all this other stuff. Okay, so you can see how it builds, but that scribbling has gotta go. So what do we do? Well, we gotta do all the drawing paths. So let's start with the first one. You cannot see it because it's underneath, but just highlight it over here in this little section. Click the pencil icon, and then we're gonna do our drawing paths, okay? So where do you wanna start? Do you wanna start with the horizon or this little, um, I don't know, these weeds? Well, I think the horizon would be nice. So I'm just gonna start drawing here. And I'm going to make my path size a little bit larger. And I'm just going to make this so. I do try to make it so these these little intersections aren't too prominent. And then let's go here. Now all this drawing is going to be a little tedious, I will be honest. And I will fast forward through this because you don't want to watch me doing this for a half hour or however long it's going to take. So let's save and return that. And you're going to do the same for the next one. So you're going to click it, click the pencil. But this time, I'm only going to do the clouds. These have already been drawn. So it would look dumb to redraw them, wouldn't it? So I'm just gonna go up here and start with my clouds. Okay, so I have these done and again, I'm ignoring what I've already drawn. So save and return. Let's just take a quick peek. So here he goes with the marshlands and then now he's doing that. Okay, and then notice how it skipped the other. Okay, so now let's do our third image. So again, you select it, click your pencil icon. And now remember, we've already drawn the outline of our clouds and the river and whatnot. This time we're only doing this shading. So think about, okay, what do I want to shade first? Well, let's see, what did we start with? We started with the horizon. So I think that's what I'm going to do first. So I'm going to go ahead and just start shading my horizon. And I'm just trying to mimic the pen movements that I originally did. Now you may wonder why I'm doing it in layers like this. You know, why didn't I just start with this? Well, because there's a lot of overlap For example, see how this section overlaps this part of the river? Well, if I had done this all at once and I did my river first and it came through here, I, I would reveal some of these shading areas before I was ready to. In this case, it's not that big of a deal. It's a very simple graphic, but in some of your more detailed graphics, it will really come into play. And yes, my my first graphic where I didn't do the clouds, I probably could have done the clouds in that one because there really wasn't any overlap there. But I did want to show you the example of how you just skip what you've already revealed. And I thought that would be a good way to do it. Okay, so maybe now let's do the cloud shading. So again, I'm only working on the new stuff. Once we're done doing our drawing paths, we will adjust the timing a little bit. 
So this is the last one. So we want to draw our cattails, the birds, and the rowboat. So probably the rowboat will be the last thing. So let's do the cattails, the birds, and then the rowboat in that order. And now that I think about it, I think the birds will be last. So I'll show you how you can change that in a minute. I think, you know, they're kind of like an afterthought, whereas the rowboat is more of a subject. So, so you go down here. This is path 10. I'm going to, I'm just going to click into it. I'm going to call that bird. So see, you can name these bird. Okay. So those are all named. And now we're going to go ahead and start on our rowboat. So probably let's do the stick first. Click new path and it's going to put it at the end. Well, we can move it to before the bird. Okay. So now this is going to be our rowboat. So we'll just say um, stick and let's go ahead and draw that. And then we'll draw the rope there. And then we're going to do new path. Bottom. And this is. I rarely name my paths, but sometimes you just need to. Okay, so everything is now in order. Birds are last. Save and return. And let's take a quick look. So maybe let's slow down this last one. So there's a lot more to draw. And this could maybe go just a little shorter, the clouds. And this could probably go a little shorter. And then this is probably just a touch longer. If you wanted, you could also add some delays. So let's just add a delay here before the cattails come in. And then finally, let's add my signature. We're gonna, like I say, we're pretending I'm an official illustrator and that I'm really talented. So I could do the drawing paths. It would look nice. I'm just going to fade it. And two second fade. Let's add a delay. I'm going to change my resolution. I'm going to make it vertical right here. Custom. Let's see. 1600s. I think that might be a little closer. Okay, now we have to resize everything. So again, Control A or Command A. That selects everything and now we're just going to resize it to fit our canvas. And that's looking pretty good. I think that's just fine. Let's add some time at the end. So we want this to be on screen long enough for people to just enjoy it, right? So let's say 15 seconds. And if you wanted, you could add music or a voiceover or whatever. But for now, this is what we are going to have. Okay, let's take a quick look and we'll be done. And there you have it. We brought a sketch to life with Doodly. This is a great way to add an extra layer of uniqueness to your videos and a great way to have fun with animation. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching.